what's good josh your boy ross back at it again with another video so we got some uh terrifying uh news that's been circulating for the past couple hours um it actually sends uh shivers down my spine just even thinking about the possibility of what may be coming hopefully this is not the case apparently rumors are are, are swirling that vince mcmahon wants to make a return to his day-to-day -day duties in wwe no please no uh, the triple h era has not been perfect by any means of the stretch but the one thing i can say at least the pay-per-views feel important or the ple's as they call them please oh no what's well, this i hope this is not true but we're gonna get into this article by wrestling inc uh dot com uh i i, I had to make a video on this because this just sounds quite terrifying vince mcmahon reportedly wants to make wwe come back good god almighty oh i hope this is not the case it's now been nearly five months since the unthinkable happened when vince mcmahon announced his retirement from his duties as wwe uh chairman and ceo long thought to be destined to die in the chair mcmahon walked away in the midst of an investigation into several payments mcmahon allegedly made to cover up various affairs and scandals in most cases that would um that would be where the story begins and ends but mcmahon now appears ready to put the phrase everyone loves a good comeback story to the test please no and the new wall street uh journal report primarily focused on mcmahon facing new demands from two women accusing him of sexual assault sources revealed that mcmahon is looking to make a comeback at wwe the sources said that mcmahon believes he received bad advice from people close to him regarding his earlier retirement and that he ultimately could have weathered the storm of the investigation and allegations despite mcmahon's retirement he uh, has maintained majority ownership of wwe through owning the majority of wwe shares and continues to wield the majority of voting power making a comeback at least possible oh no since his departure wwe has been run by co-ceos nick khan and stephanie mcmahon as well as wwe chief uh, chief content office uh, officer uh, paul triple h levesque in november after wwe announced that the internal uh, the internal investigation into mcmahon's conduct had concluded fightful reported that a wwe spokesperson told them mcmahon was done done and would not be returning to the roles that were taken over by triple h and several others shortly after wall street journal report fightful sean uh fightful's uh sean ross Sapp addressed the idea of, of McT uh, mcmahon returning uh return on twitter numerous wwe higher-ups that i have spoken to in recent months have indicated to us they want nothing to do uh with that and are happy with the direction sap said i haven't heard one person there itching for a vince mcmahon or a vince return uh no 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 and no Whoever told Vince, go ahead and retire. Let's get this man an award. Let's give this man a buttload of cash. He deserves all the praise and adulation because he was the one who told Vince, go ahead and hang it up. And Vince actually listened. No. No, 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 no. Just no. You may not like what Triple H has been or, you know, the biggest fan of Triple H's booking decisions. But what he's done is at least way better than what we were getting with vince mcmahon i no 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 i'm, I'm sorry just no 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 that's that's all i can say you bring him back he ruins pretty much everything that triple h has done the whole bray wyatt thing bray wyatt might as well lead the company dead I, no no i don't trust him with the Sami Zayn angle no I don't, I'm afraid of what he would do with Brock Lesnar. I, there's so many things I would be afraid of. No, I'm good. 
I'm actually good on him even coming back. I can believe the reports of people saying, no, we don't want him back. No, I can appreciate what Vince McMahon has done for the wrestling industry, but no, that's literally taking 10 steps back. For the first time in quite some time, people are looking forward to the Royal Rumble. People are looking forward to WrestleMania next year. These are two major pay-per-views in Elimination Chamber. People are looking forward to these events because at least these events, they live up to the hype for the most part. Every single pay-per-view that Triple H has taken over has been spot on, have been great. Now, some of the shows leading up to these PLEs haven't been the best. They've kind of been either they would be sometimes really good or in the middle of the road. Nothing atrociously bad, but just middle of the road to good for most of the show. SmackDown has actually been a lot more, uh, a lot a lot better, you know, in the, uh, in the past few months. Uh, there's still some boring things and some things on there that don't make sense. But for the most part, SmackDown has gotten better, in my opinion. I think Raw has kind of dipped a little bit in quality. Um, but there's still some things on the shows that are quite enjoyable. I think when they get to the actual PLEs, the PLEs, they knock them out the park. And that is crazy to say. And that's one thing. I can live with the week-to-week -week shows being okay. But the PLEs being fantastic, I'm all for it. When's the last time we actually cared as a fan base about Survivor Series? Outside of War Games and outside the Survivor Series with NXT, which was fucking awesome. It was pretty cool. We, we don't care about Survivor Series. He made Survivor Series feel important with War Games, bringing that to the main roster. Clash at the Castle, in my personal opinion, is probably the best PLE they put on all year next to wrestlemania night one i'm sorry that was the best ple they put on all year next to wrestlemania night one that whole show was fantastic i hope they go back over to the uk again next year that show was great that show was great SummerSlam was good even though most of that show was already booked it still was pretty good it was fantastic. I love that. Clash at the Castle. I'm not, I already said Clash at the Castle, uh, but uh, Crown Jewel was actually pretty, pretty enjoyable. Like, there's been a lot of, there's, there, Triple H has made these PLEs feel great, important, must see television. And with Vince coming back, a lot of the times they don't feel that important. The only thing that makes them feel important is like maybe one match, at least. Now, there's multiple matches you want to see because of maybe the storytelling and the booking or the fuse that's been cultivated, man. I just know. No, you bring him back, you literally pretty much do a reset and have, we, we're literally back to where we were before. We're back to where we were before, where it would literally just be what we were. Vince will probably get rid of the people that Triple H hired. Like, no, I, no, I can't do it can't do it i know some of you guys are fans of Vince man that's cool more power to you i don't want to see him back in the position of power so we can be doing the same thing we were doing earlier this year no so he can let go of the same people he let go before god no so that's my take on it please just keep him away from it no just mm -mm, I, I can't the, the, that should be the title of this video no <laughs> just no man so comment down below let me know man how do y'all feel about vince potentially making a return back to wwe am i the only one that's out here that feels like that is truly horrifying and we don't need to take those those steps backwards we need to be moving forwards please 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 let me know how y'all feel about this because i can't be the only one that is terrified of that idea but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace no